Damn, that boy can whinge. recording on phone just in case i've tried this once before but the problem is uh, the thing keeps turning the audio off and it also crashes every now and again so because i've got a bit of phone a something or another i don't know anyway it's got a rear dash cam just there so we'll see let's see how it works give it a different view uh but so there's a few things i want to talk about and uh, i'm going to try and do it linear so that i can edit the videos have them Rather than have just one long video, I'm going to have lots of short videos, and that's how I'm going to do my format. And if I get a bit of gardening in between, uh, today I'm at the hall, so I'm not going to do any filming there. If I do, I do. If I don't, I don't. I don't intend to. I haven't got my 360 cameras. All I've got is my phone. Uh, Soltex uh, first. I went both days, and why did I go both days? Well, we were going to go down the Christmas show, because we went round a show last year, and it was really, really good, but I think that was holidays or something and uh it was free to get in the christmas show was like 15 quid 14 quid and we're thinking i'm not paying to go into a show we're not really into christmas anyway so i don't think that because it was christmas and craft fair and i don't think that was the show we, we went into last year and it was really good so yeah because the thing is salt exits it's really really gone downhill major downhill a lot of the bigger brands weren't there i think since covid it's all it's all changed and you know they're, they're going on to different uh, shows and stuff i mean you guys you've got to imagine if they're doing half a dozen shows it's going to cost them a fortune how many sales are they going to get from that you know uh so i had a walk around i met up with nathan what a legend honestly he's a really really nice bloke went round with sam and uh, met up with big mowers and also met up with the uh, bowers and stuff i think that's what he's I can't remember it map, mend it bad. Um, obviously, the, the usual sort of riff raff that you're bumping to. And there wasn't many there, to be honest, uh, who I recognised. I had a couple of people recognise me from the channel, which is good. Now, I've got to apologise because one chap, he walked, oh, I watch your channel. We were kind of in a rush to get to the, the Christmas show, and uh, it sort of threw me when this random bloke came and said, Oh, I know, you, I know you from YouTube. And I went, YouTube, YouTube. I can't remember what his name is, and uh, I didn't stop. Well, the thing is, which will lead me on to another, another video, I kind of felt really awkward, and I, I went, oh, well, thanks, yeah, cheers, all right. And I went off. I didn't know what to say. Yeah, I, if you watch, because he's busy watching my videos, so if you're watching these, I do apologise. I didn't mean to be like that. It's just, yeah, I'm not really, uh, believe it or not, I'm very, very socially awkward, really socially awkward. And I find it very difficult to sort of like engage in conversation with people. So I know that sounds crazy, doesn't it? Yeah, the, the show itself was a bit of a letdown. Went round uh, advanced engineering. Uh, that was mainly for the, for a few freebies and stuff like that. Because I, I like to have the cops for work and stuff like that. So I think this is one of the highways, CRM company, from now, NAL. So I always say to them, oh, you know, yeah, I have my coffee in the morning and you'll see me. Hold, hold my cup up and what have you and you know wow that sounded bright then you'll get to see your uh your brand so i uh, should have brought now you see i got i met with dsa uh gardening and um they give me a pair of glasses sunglasses and i should have brought them with us i didn't think i'd need them this time of year but yeah you do of course you do when you're driving so and there was highways was last year highways and i really enjoyed that one that was probably better than better than soltex to be honest i found it very interesting a lot of the stuff but, uh unfortunately that wasn't on at the same time i think it was on in september so we missed out on that one and 
I don't know whether I'm going to turn to Salt X next year. I really don't. I don't think it's worthwhile. So, yeah, whether I'll go to Salt X again next year, I don't know. There was, I think it was called Brown Fest. There was another one called Brown Fest. A lot of people said that was much better. And maybe that's the show we'll go to. I did talk to Elite. No, I keep calling it Elliot. It's Elite. You know, it's funny when people correct you. You think, well, I read it. I wasn't told what it was called. I read it. So, and I've read it wrong. I do apologise, but any end. Uh, no, it's elite. Anyway, so I spoke to them, and I think I'm, I've been going on about this chipper for a while. I've walked the uh, liner for about three years, and I think that's the chipper I'm going to get. Why? A lot of people say it doesn't like wet stuff. Now, I've had a Primo, and the Primo is swung down for the Maestro. It's very old chipper. And that really did not like the wet stuff, but... To be honest, I didn't really have an issue with it. it. It had like a filter system, and I'm thinking, you know, you, you get the proper filters on there and it'll be fine. And I don't think the, the miner has a filter anyway. They've changed the chute on it, and as long as it fits in the same place as my Honda Pro, then I take uh, the chick with me. Uh, but if I have to um, rearrange the van and everything and remove all the boards and stuff, then that might be a bit of an issue. So yeah, I had a chat with them, and I'm hoping to get a demo. I also had a chat with Milwaukee, and I'm hoping to get a demo from them. Now, I was like, oh, with Milwaukee, I think they're going to come out to us, and I'm thinking, Ooh, is, that how, is that how it works? Now, I was under the impression, if they give you a demo, they give you a model, and you could take it away and use it for a short while, and then job done. You know, you go to your supplier, use it for a short day, job done. But... No, it looks like they're going to actually come out to us. I'm thinking, okay. Which is fine. Because the thing is, if you look at I need to use it. Well. Any equipment I want to use, I want to use real world. But Robbie came up to me because I met, met up with Robbie Lee, uh, Premier Lords. And he asked me what bit of advice would he give someone that? Again, socially awkward me. I didn't really know what to say. I know my one bit of advice. So my one bit of advice is don't buy anything you think it is. Buy something you know you're going to need. And buy it as of when you need it. This is if you're starting out. And even if you're not starting out, don't buy something. Because you think, oh, I like that. I, I want that. That'll do me. You know, so we go down and buy the ride on lower. I don't have any laws that would require a, a ride on lower. So what's the point if buy one? I don't have the means to store it. or oh, purchase things. The chipper. Do I really need a bigger chipper? I'm only buying the bring per uh, bean. Uh, minor because I want something that's going to last a little bit longer and be a bit more robust because the reality of it is that Hornet chipper just it does its job it does what I want it to do do I really really need anything more the only thing that puts me off a Hornet is the accessibility to the blade it's, it's the only reason why I need a new chipper it's because the to get to the blades you've got to undo the bolts undo the bolts is a blooming nightmare because they just, you end up cross-threading them at all fours. It's very cheaply put together. And as a result, you're knackering it all, changing the blades. It's annoying because I figured out how you change the handles to make it to, so you can sharpen the blade to reuse the blade. But it is what it is. There's certain things that have rattled itself to death. So, you know, I, I, I was just think, do I really need a bigger tip out? You know? It's a 6.5 horsepower engine, so it's actually slightly smaller than the Hornet. But I can't see that being a big bit of a diff, much of a difference. The shoot's bigger and it shreds. So I like the idea behind the Elite uh, chippers was an option, was the shredders. So, and they have half a dozen blades, and I know they'll last as long as no crank was through. So, you know, it's that one bit of the boy stick is. Only buy what you need when you need it. Don't buy what you think you need and hope you could use. So when I ask for a demo, I want to try it out because I have bought stuff in the past that think, oh, this ain't working for me. The Henkerman ladders, the Ender ladders, the 16 footers, the, the 10 footers I've got on my man are perfect. Absolutely perfect. Stable up to the top of them, no problem whatsoever. And a little bit of issue with height sometimes, but because they're three leg adjustable, fantastic. If I would have tried the 16-foot ladders first in the field, I probably wouldn't have bought them. One of the things in the Milwaukee I'm looking at is the uh, electric pruners. I like the look of... I like the idea that sometimes I'm up a hedge 
up 16 foot ladders, it's too thick to cut with a pair of shears or a, sorry, with a pair of hedge cutters. And I don't want to let go of the ladder while hedge cutting. And I don't want to use a pair of loppers, which I have done in the past. So those, job done. One handed, hold on to the ladder, do, 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 job done. And it's quick. So I like, I like the idea, but out in the field, it's a totally different thing. I think Eurisa will be fine, but it's the battery, which will be another topic I'll talk about. So um, I want a demo on all really, really, if, if I do get one, because I've never really been, I've, got, I've had one demo, demo model of something, which was the, whoa, choose a lane, missus, cheese and spice. Give up your license. It's on the phone. Get off your phone. So, um, so yeah, I want to actually, I'd like to be able to use it in the field because I like then, then I shall know whether or not it is actually suitable for me. It's the same as the miner. I could go out and buy a miner thinking, yeah, this is going to be great. But unless I can get a car, oh, well, I'm going to buy a, unless I can get a car, oh, well, I'm going to buy a, unless I can get a car, oh, well, I'm going to buy a, I'm going to do. When I, when I go to my supplier, because I know they've got one in stock. I'm going to say, right, if I can get this in my van, I've got no, I haven't got my Honda in there, but if I can get this in my van, I will buy it now. And that's what I'll do. But I also see, want to see if I can get a demo of it first. I would like to see when it, what, how it performs. I don't want to buy a chip that is going to get clogged if I do wet stuff and stuff like that. I have heard it, and my preload did, but I think that's down to the field. So, you know, that's that's basically that with uh, Soltex and what have you. I, I, Am I going to go back? I don't know.